Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new CLC episode and I've literally just woken up a couple of moments ago and have realised that we are now inside of a brand new league. We just hit the Titans 3 league last night. We are currently sitting at 4,109 trophies inside of the game, but that's not the great thing guys. Check this out. Our all-time personal best 4,131 trophies. We are so, so close. Now I know that is such a bad record for a Town Hall 11, but I have never really trophy pushed in my entire career on this game. So we are, of course, doing the second episode, which is this, for the series where we will be getting to that Legends League. So don't forget to leave a like down below. If we hit 2,000 likes on this episode, we will bring you the next video in the series very shortly, where we will only be doing live attacks, guys. Do not forget, these episodes are live attacks only. So we're going to gem the army that we will be going in for a live attack with. Hopefully we can break our all-time personal record inside of this episode. I am hoping to beat 4,131 trophies. So we only need another 22 trophies and we will break our all-time personal record. So what I want you guys to do, just as I build this army, go down below in that comment section and take a guess. How many trophies are we going to end this episode on? I'm feeling positive. I reckon we can maybe end on 4,158 trophies inside of this video. So go down below in that comment section, as I said, and take a random guess. How many more trophies will we grab? So we're just going to finish off that army. I think the heroes are ready. The spells are ready. The troops are ready. Let's get ourselves into a live attack. After we've done this live attack, we are going to go in for a second live attack. But then after that one, we are going to change it up. We're going to keep it entertaining. I have a very surprising army. Which I'm going to be using, so make sure you stay tuned. Whoa, check out the Dark Elixir inside of here. Damn. Damn, son. That is a lot of Dark Elixir. Where is it situated? See, it's not really inside of the storage. It's more over this side here. So we're going to be attacking from this side. Hopefully, we can do damage to both Inferno Towers. Nope, not quite. But we did do some damage to the Eagle Artillery there as well. So here we go, guys. Going to send in the Giants. Go Grand Warden, Queen. Send in the healers just to make sure those little giants don't get completely battered. Go in with the wall breakers. Can we get into the center? Of course we can, guys. Here we go. Going to send in the bowlers now as well. We're going to be dropping in the first rage spell. Drop in the poison spell. Now, I always tend to drop in the poison spell just ahead. We're going to drop the free spell just about throws that, uh, the eagle artillery before it unloaded all of its shots there. So, we're going to drop in the second rage spell very shortly. Here we go, guys. Gonna pop the Grand Warden's ability to make sure these bowlers don't get completely fried. They've taken out the first, of course, the first multi-target Inferno Tower. They've done a little bit of damage to that Dark Elixir storage. Can the Queen take it out? Of course she can, guys. The Queen comes to the rescue. Gets us the two-star already. She's gonna be taking out that Expo. It's been a great attack so far. We've taken all 5,000 of that Dark Elixir. Still some bowlers on the left-hand side. Gonna pick up some more percentage points for me take out that little wizard tower there and they've also got the healers on them so it's looking decent for a 70 percent loot bonus which will be 100 percent so it looks like we're gonna get 100 percent loot bonus and by the way guys inside of the titans 3 league the loot bonus is actually 280,000 golden elixir so it's huge now we're just gonna drop down those archers there it looks like they're gonna get pinged by that mortar can we take out that last archer tower no we can't guys so we're gonna end it there we picked up 10 trophies Five and a half thousand Dark Elixir plus the loot bonus. That is looking like a massive Dark Elixir raid. So we are currently sitting at 4,119 trophies. If you haven't yet, go down below in that comment section and take a guess. How many trophies are we going to end the episode on? We only need 12 more trophies to break our all-time personal record. So let's get ourselves into a second live attack. As I said, guys, if you are enjoying this series and cannot wait to see me hit that Legends League, then feel free to leave a like down below, guys. Let's see. Let's just gem up the rest of this army. Don't forget, if you do want to get yourself some free gems, there is a link to Cash Fraps in the description box down below. So we're going to bring some... Oh, no, 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 no. What am I doing? We're not going to show you the army we're using yet. We're not going to show you the army. After we've done this live attack, we're going to change it up. We're going to use a very shocking army. Where did I just put that wall? We're going to be using a very shocking army, guys. So make sure you stay tuned. Let's just gem the heroes, the Grand Warden, the Queen, and of course the King. So there we go. We have the spells ready, the heroes ready, the troops ready. Let's get ourselves into a second live attack. Let's see what we can find inside of the Titans League. Another massive amount of Dark Elixir inside of this base. 
but the base itself looks a little bit dodgy. Let's see if we can find a better one. So we have just landed on another Town Hall 11. Now the reason we're going to be taking this on is because there is a potential for a triple star. We could possibly three star this base. The Grand Warden's down. The Queen is down. I think the King is down as well. Yes, he is. And it's going to give us a great access point into the center there. We've also got the Wall Breakers ready to take down those first two layers of walls. And it looks like we could three star this base as I said. Now we're going to drop the Giants very far back there. Just so we have the uh, the time to drop in the rest of the troops. We're going to drop in the Wizards on a little bit of a wide spread. Make sure we can funnel in these Bowlers into the center. There goes the Poison Spell just ahead. Going to drop down the actual uh, the, the Poison Spell. And we're going to pop the Grand Warden's ability nice and early. So the first Inferno Tower should be going down pretty quickly. Oh no we've just dropped the free spell by accident. I meant to drop in the Rage spell, not the Free spell, so we've just wasted the Free spell, but it's okay, I think we could possibly still triple star this base, even though we've wasted the Free spell, so we're going to use the King's ability, he's going to be triggering that big bomb nice and early, we've got loads of bowlers going down on the left hand side, still got plenty of troops up and remaining, need to take out all of those air defenses, where are the healers at? So I think our healers were completely wasted at the start of the raid guys, so it doesn't look like we're going to be 3 starring this base at all. It looks like we will be receiving a 100% loot bonus once again though. The queen going to get stuck on the wall. We're going to drop down these 4 last archers there. And we're going to end the raid there. So let's see what we got. We got 6 trophies and a 100% loot bonus once again. So that has taken us closer. Currently sitting at 4,125 trophies. Now as I said we are about to go in for a third live attack. But this time we are going to make it a very surprising army. So we are going to go old school here. We are going back to the old school days. So for anyone that's been playing this game for a very long time, of course, you will remember the Go Wipe. The Go Wipe was the most popular attack in the game. So we're going to be using a three Golem Go Wipe. This is going to be cool. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Going to be using the Earthquake spells, two Rage spells, and a free spell. Now we're going to bring ourselves... We're going to bring two Peckers. So we're going to go two Peckers. We are going to bring at least 16 Wizards. We're going to go with six Wall Breakers three archers and then we're going to fill up the rest of the spaces with some more wizards so this is going to be very interesting guys check it out 21 wizards three golems two packers this is the old school go wipe does it still have the potential to double star sorry to two star a base we're just going to have to wait and see so we've got the heroes ready we've got the spells ready we got the actual uh, the army ready let's get ourselves into a third live attack we need six trophies to draw record but we need seven to beat our personal record so if we find a base with 15 trophies we will be attacking it and hoping for a two star so check it out we have just landed on this town hall 11 now there are nine trophies up for offer which means if we get a two star on this base we will get the amount of trophies we need to draw ourselves to our current personal record so it's going to be very interesting can we two star this base? We're going to drop the Earthquake spells right there next to the Town Hall and of course the Inferno Tower. Now this is a three Golem attack strategy. You're going to go one, two, three guys. Send in these Wizards. Now they are single target Inferno Towers which is a good thing and of course maybe even a bad thing. We're going to be dropping in the, uh, the actual Wall Breakers there. Sending in the Peckers now as well. Let's see what kind of damage we can do to this base. There goes the first. The first Rage Spell into the center, guys. We're going to pop the Grand Warden's ability. Can the P.E.K.K.A. take out the Inferno Tower before he gets taken out? Of course it can, guys. Where are the heroes? Why are the heroes not coming into the center? There we go. The Queen's gone into the center. We have got her. She is about to target that Town Hall very shortly, up to 29% so far. We're going to use the King's ability, guys. Get this second Rage Spell down on the right-hand side over there. I'm not sure where all of my troops have gone but it's not really looking too good but we should be able to get a two star on the base so the eagle artillery hasn't been taken out yet we're going to drop the free spell can we get the inferno tower as well not quite guys but we're up to 43 percent 44 percent we are climbing very very slowly going to be dropping some archers down at the bottom but that little expo set to ground has targeted my troops there but the queen has secured us that two star guys she is also probably going to take out the inferno tower is she going to do it nope not quite she's going to get targeted very shortly so we've got a two star and that is i think if we just end it there gonna give us six trophies a massive loot bonus once again but check out the trophies guys 4000 
131 trophies. That is going to draw us right where our personal record is. So we are going to end this episode here. I will continue to push after this episode has been edited and uploaded. Hopefully we can hit 4250 trophies by the end of the night. Don't forget to leave a like down below if you are enjoying this series. Subscribe for more. And of course, let me know down below in that comment section what army you are using to currently trophy push. I will see you shortly, guys. Have a great day. Peace out.